Yo, what's up guys, I'm back, and today we're doing a Should You Buy for the downloadable title, Real Steel, based on that Rock'em Sock'em robot fighting movie, Real Steel. And right off the bat, I gotta say this game is a no-buy. Stay clear of this game, unless you're absolutely obsessed with Hugh Jackman, or you're obsessed with robots, or you're just obsessed with that damn movie. What gets me about the game is they moderately priced this downloadable title at 800 Microsoft points. It was about like 10 bucks. So then at first you'll be like, oh, it's only 800 Microsoft points, so I'm just going to buy it and try it out. I like the movie. So then after you notice that the game is, is the most basic, basic of all fighting games, where all you have is just punching tactics, where your four face buttons are your most basic of attacks with like a left and right heavy punch and a left and right regular punch. And then you have your like your special attacks where you hold the RB button and press one of the face buttons and you do like a little special robot attack. And of course you got your guard and you got your little swing, your basic boxing swing technique. It's billing itself as basically a robot boxing game, obviously. So basically you start off with your basic robot and you can customize it. Um, a little bit and I'll get to that in a little second and once you make a robot you go try to you know Go up the rankings and being other robots of other classes and all that bullshit The thing about the game that just gets me the most is the fact that not only are, are, did you just buy a game That's just insanely basic. So you'll probably get bored in about maybe 15 minutes Then the fact that you just bought a game for 800 Microsoft points and you only bought the core version of the game so you just have the most basic of basics. From the beginning, when they try to tell you that you can customize your robot, they try to sell you the robot designer, which comes at an extra cost that's not even included in the game. So what they do is they give you a little sample version of the designer, so you can't even save any of your settings where you can change the color, change the, uh, the pattern scheme of your robot. And that's not even it. As you keep playing throughout the game, your robot gets damaged, and that damage carries on to your next fight. So in order to, you know, heal your robot, you gotta repair. Them. So you get these repair kits, and it takes seven repair kits to fully repair your robot to, you know, 100% standard awesomeness. So what do they do? You can go to the downloadable content and buy more freaking repair kits with Microsoft points. It just seems that the only reason that this game even exists is the fact that they want to suck out as much cash as they can out of you. You buy the game for 800 Microsoft points, you have to pay 240 Microsoft points to buy the designer. They want you to buy repair kits to fully restore your robot. If you want to buy extra moves for your robot, that's 160 uh, Microsoft points a pop. They're even selling individual pieces of a robot. So if you want to buy an extra head, that's 160 Microsoft points, an extra body kit, that's 160 Microsoft points, an extra two arms or legs, all that other shit. It's crazy! Yo, it's so crazy that there's an option where you can buy a left fist, and if you really like that left fist and you want that right fist to be the same as your left fist, you have to buy another right fist for 160 Microsoft points just to have a match. So it's like mind-numbing that a game that's so basic in its core, where it's just, like I said, just a rock'em sock'em, I'ma hit you, you hit me, I'ma block, I'ma hit you again type game, and they just, you know, overload it with a whole bunch of things that you can just shell out more money towards. So anyway, that's it. I'm done with this game. Uh, I would only buy this game if you're an absolute fanatic about uh, Real Steel, the movie, and uh, possibly you might have some fun with it. It's like, it's the most basic of games. For 800 Microsoft points, there's a whole bunch of other games that are out there. Um, you won't play this game over anything else in your collection. You're going to want to play something else instead of this. So that's it. So if you see my other videos, you know I give stuff away. And all you got to do to win is be subscribed to my channel, leave a comment down below, and answer this question. As you know, I pretty much don't like the game because I don't like games that try to suck out money. Based on what you saw today, if you can rename this game from being Red Steel to anything you want, what would you call it? The funniest comment will win your choice of either a 1600 Microsoft point card or $20 for the PlayStation Network Store. That's it. I'm Warner Zari. I'm back. I'm back and doing videos, doing more stuff. And um, yeah, it's going to get crazy right now. So thank you for watching. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.